Today is finally the day. Pharaoh Wes decrees it. It is time for war. I know I've said that four episodes in a row now, but you know, we, look, we weren't ready, okay? Look, now retired, Pharaoh Jerry was a little obsessed with the city building and not very obsessed with defending the city once we built it. Hence why a lot of people have died and been kidnapped like really important people. And now that Hippo Wes has his... Hippo Wes? <laughs> <laughs> now that Pharaoh Wes has his hippo army, we have mounts for our soldiers. We are one step closer. Why is everything paused? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Hello. That's not too bad. 36 of them. Okay, 36 is bad when you've only got 17 people. Only 13 of which are capable of combat. But yesterday we began thickening the walls and it's got a lot better than I expected. Almost double limestone castle wall going around the entire base now. I'm missing a little bit on the bottom here, but it's not as if this bit is the bit that needs defending the most or anything. For God's sake. And let's not forget, out here on the world itself, we have a brand new military settlement. Upgraded with... I was going to say all the best, but I should probably rephrase that as... The only military upgrades we've got access to right now. We've got a militia, we've got a training grounds, we've got a barracks now, military level three. So even whilst right now we're not entirely ready to march our people out there, we can march other people out there and they can die for their pharaoh. And speaking of dying for their pharaoh, I guess we better I guess we better get to defensive positions, eh, squad? In fact, what we should do is go and crack this door open. Otherwise, they'll try and smash down the walls. Granted, it'll take them a lot longer now. Pharaoh Wes has had the people build the walls up so much. They were going to wait a while on attack anyway. Oh, fantastic. And this is the... <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Look at our people. Oh my God, it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's not enough room. Now, let's not forget, very sadly, yesterday, Wes forced his son, Dodgy Dave. Dodgy Dave, the, the character incapable of any sort of violence. Oh, Grandpa Jerry's here. Thank you for joining us. Wes forced his son, Dodgy Dave, to give up on his medical ways, equip an armor, equip a shield, and at least stand here and use his blessed side powers to try and help us as we fight. Unfortunately, though, it wasn't all great yesterday where Dodgy Dave was forced to be a, a soldier rather than the medic he wants to be, rather than the healer he wants to be. He did get a little overzealous with his powers, tried healing Garthwick, and it killed her. It was just too much for our body to handle. We're going to need ourselves a Dodgy Dave Redemption arc eventually, but for the time being... Oh, shit. Timo has hit 78. He now counts as being old age. And that, of course, is when his organs can start to fail, so we need to be careful. Sorry, Temate, where's your weapon? Where is it? It's... Oh. <laughs> I guess he must have collapsed in the in the Tomb of Heroes. Go and get your bloody Kopesh back, for God's sake, man. I said run, not saunter. Thank you. <laughs> Critical alert fire. Wait, are they lighting fire to the... Oh, it's lightning. Wait. Critical alert fire. Vero Jerry, I have a job for you, my friend. How about one of these? Glorious purpose, Jerry. Glorious purpose. Yes! You think Vero Jerry's old and frail? You're in the wrong neighborhood. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, he's got a psychic breakdown. Okay, 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 this is fine. This is fine. This is fine! Jerry has killed them all. Well, he hasn't killed them all, but he's done a lot of damage. That's not good. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Get him. Kill them all. You know what, squad? Let's do it. Let's go in. Dodgy Dave, uh, hang back a little bit more because you're not that useful on the front. Where's Pharaoh Wes, what the fuck? You didn't do anything. What a shithead. Timo's down as well. Wait, they're using guns against us. Well, that's not bloody fair, is it? Don't kill Pharaoh Jerry. Don't you kill X Pharaoh Jerry. Oh my Christ. I mean, it was a bold strategy. I'm never going to financially recover from this. Tech Mate is down, but they are fleeing. The hippo's in there still. Stop firing, you're hitting the people on the floor, you dickhead. Stop. Oh my god, rescue Pharaoh Wes. How's he doing? Ten hours. Rescue Pharaoh Jerry. Get him. Where is Tepmate? Pick him up. They're not gonna die. They're not gonna die. We're fine. Don't worry. Ah! Well, they might if that bloody dragon doesn't stop breathing on everything. We can put a door into the hospital from the kill box. That is maybe the biggest brain remote thing I've ever done in my entire career. <laughs> we put a door there. They can just drag him straight from the hospital into... Uh, from the kill box into the hospital. This is, this is goddamn genius. Ah, Hippo is, like, tidying up. 
He wasn't messing around, huh? Oh my Jesus, Alex. Alina, no, 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 no. Uh, builder, 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 just spazzy, just spazzy. Get over here, take the door off. What do you mean? Oh, that's Togs, shit. Is anybody good at building? Braytech, Braytech's down. No, Braytech's not down. Braytech, Braytech, Braytech. Take the door off. Alina, get the fuck out of there. Can you get Alex out? Not before she falls. Oh, Alex. Oh, Alex, you complete fool. There's not time. Uh, Braytech, take this door off instead. Just, just, just get the heat gone. Come on, come on, go there, the bloody arches. Decorative arches get in the damn way. Well, luckily we didn't lose too much. By which I mean we lost about 4,000 cloth, but, uh, and of course all the storage, but a lot of the stuff stored in here was, was non-flammable. We didn't lose all of the workroom either. Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. That could have been a lot, lot worse. I still don't think Jerry's tornado went quite, well, we don't know. I mean, Jerry's tornado very legitimately could have saved us there. It hit basically every single raider. How's Alex looking, given that he was very literally in an oven. That room was 350 degrees C. Is everybody going to be okay? Wes is fine. A few hits here and there, but it's honestly okay. Oh, Dave's using his powers. Oh, Dave. What a guy. Jerry is... Jerry's okay. Jerry's fine. The the psychic breakdown, that was a little bit... Oh my god, 5.7 days to recover from that. He gave it his all. And, and genuinely, I think he might have saved the colony there. Brocane Newt. She is very good shooting double passion. Means we could train her up quite far. She's got artistic. She's age 20. Braytech, grab her. She was the only survivor of Jerry's tornado. She, she'd fallen outside the walls. Maybe there's something here. No, stop putting her in there. I need to get rid of these damn beds. Those were temporary. No, 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 no. Stop this. Clearly she was spared by the Sun God Asgara for some reason. Well, there you go, Newt. Well, I mean, Pharaoh Wes got his wish, right? It finally has proven the strength of his people, by which I mean Jerry single-handedly dealing with almost all of the raid. Let's keep the pressure on. Let's head out there into the world, and let's assign our new military settlement over here in Waset. And let's get them hitting House Greyhate. It's finally time for the counterattack. So, we can say capture settlement, which is very, very risky. Because, I mean, it's it's a, a, a newly formed military city. They're probably never going to win. Or we can go straight up raid settlement. I think let's go for some basic raids to start off with. Try to raid using Waset's military level 3. That seems like a good idea. It's not about taking their cities, though maybe eventually if we could take the whole of House Greyhay and make them swear fealty to Jerry, that would be amazing. Right now, right now it's about sending a message. That's what we need to know. We need to let this world that we're not going to be pushed over anymore. And the pile of corpses in the front gate, unfortunately, doesn't really have that effect in Rimworld. Hang on. The heat waves ended. I was going to say everybody was still suffering from heat stroke, but they're not. It's only Togs now. What happened to the Elder Dragon? I guess it just left the map? Where did you go? It's dead. Wait, there's two dead ones. Did they kill one another? Oh. <laughs> Man, I'm so annoyed I missed that. They actually did kill one another. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, looks like means back on the menu, boys. Oh, shit. I forgot to mention it at the end of yesterday's episode. Glasses. You might remember glasses began schooling yesterday. They had, what was it, 14... 14 melee when they first began school at the age of like four or whatever it was. They're 10 now. And they have 16.25. Holy shit. You might be one of our best melee characters. You're way better than Pharaoh Wes. You're better than Braytech, obviously Tetmate, and I presume... Oh, you're better than Timo. Holy crap. Are you our second best melee character then? That's absolutely nuts. I mean, we've got a lot of good fighters, to be honest. I mean, that's what the education has done for him, huh? But no, it is... It is Glasses. Glasses and Tech Mate, the 74-year-old robot. Maybe you have earned the attention of the Pharaoh Glasses. The Pharaoh will be looking for a royal guard to take over from Timo, who is soon to retire. Are you feeding that hippo oodles of flour? You might say it's a hungry, hungry hippo. I guess at this stage... I'm not against upgrading the prison. And in fact, you know what? At this stage, we could probably get rid of the quarry because we got a mine shaft. <laughs> but yep. No, that's very normal. We got a mine shaft during the medieval era. That's going to be way more effective than a quarry, right? I just don't entirely know what it can produce compared to the quarry. So let's throw it down here for now. I was going to say we'll expend out the prison. We'll actually give them a dedicated bathroom. Are we going to have eight prisoners again? Maybe. But we can actually give them beds and ends tables and whatever else. When you're done baking bread, though, fella... You could actually get to butchering these giant monsters. We have to make sure those hides are produced. 
What about the tanning racks? We just don't, we're not making any of the tanning rack liquor anymore. Well, let's definitely fix that. Uh, do until you've got whatever. Wood them plants, then meat. I think that's fine. Damn it. I knew that was going to happen. The raid on House Grey Hate has resulted in failure. I wasn't expecting anything from them. They're a brand new military settlement. I will put them on cooldown for a long time, but I think it was worth a go. And I mean, it wouldn't take much more to upgrade them. Do we even have access to any of the buildings that we can upgrade them with? It's probably a better question. Um, 3,000. I don't think we have it. Let's try and get 3,000 silver. Let's upgrade Wes's military even further. And I have some terrible news. You remember how Jerry spent basically all day yesterday writing a masterwork intellectual book? Well, apparently, we no longer have a masterwork intellectual book because we don't have anything that matches between excellent and legendary. We have two good intellectual books. Is that my cotton on fire? You actual shit. Turns out that the book I had them save from the fire was just good. Prophecy of dead holograms, Jerry. You're gonna give the whole game away, my friend. Oh, and taxes are here now. 1,577 silver from Jericho. Thank you. Oh, cool. We can get all the chunks we could possibly need. And we can get coal. And we can get gunpowder and iron ore and silver ore. Wow. Okay, so hear me out here. Let's get rid of this quarry. Because it's right in the middle of the city. It seems a bit odd. This area is a bit more rustic and, and kind of meant for development anyway, right? You got the work station over there you got all this mass storage in the brewery and whatever so now let's get rid of this one let's replace it with a <laughs> finally they managed your man to rim well hear me out even better idea let's put the mine shaft right next to the quarry right next to the stone cutting stations and the brick storage you know and the storage room itself that also does help out a lot actually let's put some doors back on the storage room too so it doesn't count as outdoors we have at long last new lovers the colonist formerly known as Alex, I've renamed to Aronidas. Welcome from my big old names list that I have. Aronidas, founder of the Aronidas dynasty, and Alina Struka. <gasps> Stop the music right now. He's gone. Old man Jerry is gone. Jerry has died. Cause? Natural degradation. Jerry should be mummified and entombed so that he can watch us from the afterlife. Holy crap. Natural degradation caused Jerry to perish. He died at his desk. His final moments were spent trying to better the people in his colony. Complete failure. Just organ failure. His heart gave up. Holy crap. Given that Garthwick has died, Garthwick, who we trained to be the incredible doctor from birth, our best operator is Lee Zero. She has to prepare the mummification process for her own husband. The organs will be removed. And then the jars and the tomb must be prepared. The four jars and the sarcophagus to hold Jerry's organs and body. Thank you, Lee Zero. Perfect. Ah, and the final delivery. Thank you. <laughs> then the mummification led by Braytech and the crafter, I think, should be none other than Wes. Wow. What a sad day for the colony. The death of our first pharaoh and founder. Now his royal guardian Braytech gives a speech to the people explaining what happens when we die. And then his own son begins the mummification process. Goodbye, Jerry. You were the best of us. Oh, mummified Jerry. Oh my god, they've even, they've written some art on the bandages, which of course they did in ancient Egypt. The plaque is an illustration of Jerry King working on an intellectual book while covered in grime. No way did you draw Jerry's organs exploding and him voraciously shitting himself. The image somehow expresses both oppression and victory. This representation refers to Jerry completing his great and final work uh, that he himself then destroyed with a fire tornado. What a sad day. What a sad, sad day. But there he is preserved. Turns out, because he counts as art, you can't actually put him in a sarcophagus. So instead, I've replaced the diamond sarcophagus with just diamond tiles for him to eternally rest on. But there is some good news. Our military forces are off of cooldown and ready to be used again. So I guess we'll... Try and clap the cheeks of House Grey Hate once more. You never know, we might get lucky. I presume it's just slightly random, influenced by your military level anyway, right? Get back out there. Never stop. Oh, God. Back to Dodgy Dave for a little while, I guess. So, Dodgy Dave 
recently murdered a lady. <laughs> and to be fair, he was trying to cure her, but got a little overzealous. So we have started down the empath. Path? <laughs> down the empath skill tree. Uh, word of joy is the first option. I think that's a good idea to try and earn back a little trust, a little favor with... Whose wife was it? Was it Nasta Doa's wife that he horribly killed? It was indeed. Dodgy Dave is his nephew. How is Dodgy Dave his nephew? Because, wait, Wes's wife was a Struker. I'm so confused. <laughs> Avion. You took her name. You took your wife's name. That's what's completely blown my mind here. Ah. I guess he would probably go back to being a Struker now then. What the fuck? You can't just come in my city and start shooting things. Look at Bondas from Hell's Bannister. What the hell's wrong with you? Family tree got so complicated then for a second, it, it hurt my brain. Wait, Glasses. Oh, Glasses is a Struker avion. And Regina is Bloodfang. Right, okay. I've got to get my head around things because people are dying and are unrelated unrela in ways I didn't expect. Dodgy Dave, I think it's time to go visit Uncle Nastadoa. As an apology, we're going to hit him with the word of joy. There we go. There we go. Apology accepted. Will you stop causing civil unrest in my damn city? That's on you. That's on you. Don't hunt things that you can't handle, quite honestly. Oh, you are in a lot of trouble now, Mish. Oh, you are in a lot of trouble now. Remember, that's not my fault. And the raid failed again. We've got to step it up. Br bring, on the bring on the crossbows. Bring on the arbalest. Why are we not crafting any? What's going on here? We're completely out of wood. All goods trader. You, give me your wood. Who's our best? Who, who is our best social character now? I don't even have a warden anymore. Lee Zero. Lee Zero, congratulations. You're on wardening. Wood. They've got 152. That's not really what I was after, but I guess we'll take it. Tetra slugs. That's interesting. They recharge batteries in their vicinity. We don't really need any now, but in the long term, if we do want to build tech, because that is always an option, because the pharaohs know the truth, Jerry is passing that knowledge down, or has passed that knowledge down. Eventually, we'll be able to build things like biosculptor pods and all sorts of other weird pharaoh type tech. I mean, the Stargates themselves, right? So while we're waiting for arbalists to be built and maybe some new armor upgrades for our archers too, why don't we send Pharaoh Wes and maybe someone else out there? Maybe he takes glasses on as a little apprentice. Glasses did fight on the front line in that last battle. Granted, he was just manning the uh, manning the scorpion. But together, they could go out there and go and explore some of these sites. We've got ancient complexes. People were saying, go and have a look at some of the some of the things out there in the world, especially if there are any quests that we can grab too. Robber Labyrinth. Hello. Construction skill potion. Ah, I see what you've done there. Uh, Remus Remus, Senator of Remus, sent us a message. Apparently, tribes people inhabited a nearby ruin. Okay. Uh, what I'm looking for, though, is any sort of... Any sort of treasure that we can maybe go and get. A lot of comments have said investigate them when you can. So, you know what? Let's send them out. Wesley King and Little Glasses. How you looking? 17.8. You're old enough to... You're, you're, you're big enough and strong enough to hold a sword at this stage, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe we could get you a better weapon while you're out there. Earn it for yourself. And I don't think this will be a dangerous journey. It'll take them no time at all to get over there. Let's send them on... Let's send them on the raptors. <laughs> and there they go. On a journey to uncover the secrets of this planet. Let's see what we can find. And in the meantime, look, another bold goods trader. Hey, let's get you down there and see if we can get just more wood. I've got two cactus farms set up and it's just not enough at this point. They do. 121 isn't that much. You want to buy something though? Go juice? We don't need go juice. That's okay. If we get an addiction to that, it's over because we can't really get any more in a hurry. Here we go. Come on. Surely we've got to find something. I want to find something special and unique for glasses. Armor, a weapon, anything that they can use, basically. Otherwise, they're just the same as every other colonist and they deserve to be better than that. What the hell have we found? Look at this map. Whoa. It's very similar to... Oh, I mean, is it on the same river as... That makes sense. It's on the same river as our settlement. Oh, that's nice. It's very, very similar, isn't it? With the riverbeds and the ridiculous amount of plants in the ocean. What the hell is this place? Let's take it very, very carefully, though. This might be a great point to, for Wes to use some of his side powers. Been avoiding using them in the raids that we've had, because the last thing you want to do is kill, skip your way into the middle of... 20 enemies, but these could be good. We could block blade focus before we head in there. Hello. Pods. Oh, shit. 
Wes knows what that is because Jerry has told him everything. Wes knows the truth. Does Wes know what to do with this? Timo and Lee Zero? <gasps> they got back together! Holy shit! <laughs> wow! Jerry died? She left, she left Timo for Jerry and then Jerry died and she goes back to Timo. Wow, I'm not sure if that's... I'm, I'm happy or not for Timo. It seems a little weird, but you know what? That's on you. Found a way to get past their differences. That's a problem. It's just... Well, they're friendly. They're friendly. They're friendly. They're friendly. Well, maybe not friendly, but not hostile. If we go in that room, we're going to wake up the Cryptopods. And if we do that, we're up against Ancients. Uh, uranium, that's, that's a complete nothing. We don't need that. We could probably take these two. Pods have arrived. What do we get? Tackle box. Well, like for fishing. Really? What the? F what am I gonna do with that? <laughs> I think these we could crack open, but I worry if we crack these open, it'll crack open the ro the the west the the, the west of them. <laughs> God's sake. Are those ones hostile? No, they're all friendly. They're friendly bugs. Hello. Okay, one at a time. One at a time. Get him. Bring him down. Nice. We killed him. We didn't mean to kill him. Didn't mean to kill him. We got some whiskey. Delicious. Okay, now let's crack this one open. Okay, come on. Zippy. Get him, Wes. Nothing personnel, kid. Ooh, anima fruit. That's massive. I think let's cut our losses. And let's get the hell out of there. I think we'll take... Well, not even cut our losses. Let's take what we've picked up here. Basic components, hyperweave, anima fruit. That's all really good. Plasteel. There's no way we can get plasteel in this. Sure, there are some guns and whatever else. We're not going to take those. The thing that people specifically said to keep an eye out for are the medieval overhaul tombs. Anything that spawns out there in the world that is medieval themed that we can get some great treasure from. Very vague, I know. I don't really know what we're looking for. But who knows? Maybe it'll help us fight house gray hate lee zero has also become frail jesus and meadow ave have joined us oh hello uh, uh well they haven't joined us what have you got there galvanous leather chocolate stalactite crowns random seeds I mean, we might as well take them out and more taxes surely we can upgrade the military base now 1500 silver and every time i bought wood i've been very careful to also look at that been very careful to also buy some or sell enough to be able to recoup what we've lost. With the 5,400 that we now have, let's go back to Waset and let's get it upgraded. That's another military level and maybe we could build another building there too. Who knows? Maybe the next raid might be a success. And um, one of the other suggestions I saw that I actually like quite a lot was creating an armory. Somewhere where we can very clearly see what weapons, what armor we have available. It suits Wes perfectly. So we're going to remove this quarry here entirely and then in this kind of gap between the armory, or sorry, the blacksmithy and the armory, Nope, the prison. We will build an armory. Wow. <laughs> this has pickled my brain. I really did like the aesthetic of having the forges outside because it makes sense because they're forges and they're quite warm. The problem is, you know, Rimwald workstations need to be indoors. Otherwise, they get a negative to work speed that everything has to be indoors. And with that, all of what were our bowmen have been upgraded to arbalists. That is going to make them so much more deadly. A new recruit. Look at that. It's like a revolving door system. One person dies, a new person pops up. Hello there, what are you good at? Uh, nothing, actually, right now. <laughs> well, let's give you the bow. I think we've actually got a spare arbalist kicking around somewhere. There you go, an excellent one. Wow, you're welcome. He's also one of the youngest new recruits we've ever had. So that's fantastic. Gonna have some parties, get these people meeting one another a bit more. Let's have a God's Fair. Why not? Wait. No leader. Oh my God, we never officially made... When Jerry died, we never officially made Wes Pharaoh. <laughs> we initiated him with the Pharaoh's initiation, but we never did the role change. Oh, brilliant. Well done. This is, this is really run like clockwork, this place, huh? Now we can finally have the God's Fair. I mean, it's 100% expected quality, so 60% fun, 20% unforgettable. I'm just there to have people socialize. I just want them to meet and hang out. Oh, nice work. I couldn't help but notice, though. New didn't attend, and New was the one I actually wanted to... Go and hang out with the rest of them. Walls are done? Oh my god, they're all done. They've done everything. Now, this is a little bit hacky, but that's just how it works. When I took away the bridge, it was just sand there instead. So I was able to just slap down this castle wall without having to build a, a, some stone bridge. Sure, maybe we'll call it a blessing from the gods. How about that? And leave it at that. Don't you dare question your pharaoh. Now, the next thing to do is try and figure out what we're going to upgrade 
the archers with? Because the, uh, the foot troops aren't very good either, though, are they? Um, you've got steel armor? Steel legionnaire helmet. We just need research in, in better armors. I think that's really what we've got to aim for here. Royal apparel, though, is quite nice. Ooh. Hello there. Perhaps something for the pharaoh? I think we could... I think we could roll with that. <gasps> Wait. This eventually allows us to make a hunter smithy. I think that will let us make weapons and armor out of the giant creatures that we kill. We have to go for it. This is the most wes specific research possible. And I said many, many times when Jerry was in charge that we'll save it for when, when Wes is Pharaoh. We've got it early. The man with the melees and the animal skill putting it together. That seems fantastic. What are you doing? He's shouting at your big fish from miles away. You're trying to stop it going in the pyramid. Now all we need is the forge to follow it. Windmill glyph deciphering. Makeshift stargate creation. Well, I mean, that's a bit of a project for Wes. Windmills? Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, no, let's go for windmills. Sod it. Why do we need to grind wheat light products when it comes in as flour anyway? Hmm. <laughs> it does harvest as flour straight off the plant. Angus joins. Wait, who's Angus? A group of Angus. What is Angus? Oh, like a... <laughs> like the type of cow. Ah, the most delicious of the cows. I mean, if you... Uh, if you don't include Wagyu and Kobe and... I mean, look, it's just a delicious cow. It's livestock, though. That's the good thing. We don't have any livestock at all besides two giant beetles. Uh, then again, we can't really feed any more livestock. Um, well, let's see what I can do here. Oh, the cows are so hungry. Um, but let's move that car over. And uh, maybe let's get rid of the clay pits, because I don't know how useful they are. They're great for building the early mud bricks, but we moved on now. We've got, like, pristine limestone everywhere. We don't need that anymore. We don't. It's all, it's all about a mud break. I should upgrade it to limestone, though. And as the final display of Wes's greatness, I have had them working non-stop in the quarry. With the materials from the quarry, we have worked the forges to no end. And then with the steel that we've produced, we have made ourselves some goddamn armor. No longer do they have... What was that? Someone's birthday. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, Timo! He's 82 and he's got dementia. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's kind of spoiled it a little bit. With that, I have had our people crafting armor sets non-stop. So for the melee characters, for the people with the palm axes, we have Centurion gear. Centurion gear has a really unique effect that you can make adjacent pawns not feel pain. It's effectively this kind of inspirational buff. It's very powerful. Whether or not we want it is another question entirely. And then the archers, or now the crossbowmen, have all inherited the armor from the legionnaires. They've apparently also made a shitload of statues. Wow. <laughs> well, I wasn't really paying attention to that part. So there we have it. One fully steel armored army. No more copper. No more iron. No more leather. It is steel. The finest cometic steel. My problem is that it doesn't feel very cometic. So as soon as we find a more cometic themed armor set, we're going to be swapping it out. But for the time being, our people are alive. 135% sharp armor. 125, 135, 68 with the legionaries. But of course, they're not the ones on the front lines getting slashed to pieces. And I mean, even some of them have 77%, which for archers is amazing. The cool part is the legionnaire armor, even though it does drop move speed a little bit. Sure, not as much as massive plate mail, but still enough to, uh, to actually matter. It also gives a minus 5% to mental break threshold, which means they are 5% more resilient to mental breakdowns. So over the course of two short episodes, Wes has effectively militarized not only the base by shoring up the walls and ensuring we have some real, real thickness with at least three or four Cs on the outside of this base. Not only ensuring a massive weapons upgrade in the forms of arbalists up from recurve bows, but also with Centurion and Legionary armor across the board, and not to mention... Waset is now level three. We've got ourselves a proper little military settlement out there, a proper little military town. You've got to upgrade it to level five to get the next building slot. Are you kidding? We do have 4,600. Oh my god, we can afford it. Sod it. Do it. As long as we can afford the upkeep, who cares? How's Grey Hater going to pay? If they turn up at the front door, they're going to get pounded by large monsters. A Zam Zamtrios. It was one of those stupid shark things. Sod it. <laughs> Let's grab it. It'd be really cool if we get everybody a unique mount. That'd be so that'd be so weird. If they turn up at the front gate now, no longer are there palm trees to greet the traders, but there is instead water to slow them down, scorpions to shred them to bits, and then of course a war focused pharaoh. How are your sidecars looking, by the way? Obviously he's been very busy. We can finish entirely the warlord tree. And now we can move on to whatever else I'm not sure what I would even go for with 
Wes. Protector? Could be very, very appropriate. Necropath? He could go down the dark route of trying to bring back his wife that he lost all those years ago. Archon? Crown himself the king of kings like Ozymandias, though famously that didn't really end well for him. I'm open to suggestions when it comes to what path to take Wes down yet. I think he's on this weird point where his character could go one of two ways. If we do all of this and it fails, I could see him fall into madness. But if this succeeds, then maybe Protector is the right path to go down. What about, uh, oh, Glasses? That's what I wanted to check in on. Glasses has taken Jerry's bedroom, which isn't right. But look, 18.17 melee. The guy is 14. What a legend. And when we finally get enough wood, we'll build a trebuchet, and then no one stands a chance. Except they'll probably turn up and there'll be a, a hundred of them, at which point we'll have to cry because we don't have Jerry anymore. <laughs> We've got no crowd control whatsoever. Oh, and how could I forget the battle mounts? Thank you for joining me all on the adventures of your Pharaoh Wes. We will be back to regular schedule starting tomorrow. Well, I suppose technically starting today, because yesterday wouldn't have had an episode if I figured it out right. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. We'll be back to regular schedule. I will be home, and I can read all your comments and complaints and ideas, more importantly, and we'll see what we go for then. Thank you, in the meantime, of course, to the patrons who allow all of this to exist in the first place. A big shout-out to Voodoo Mumbo, Utarrant95, Honey Delelio, Dracovia, Bellman, Mega Oscar Plone, Snathro, Lawbringer, Shadowblade, Cryon, Mike Freeman, JG, Sir Bop... Bopa... I think Joel Morris, Cal345, Mert Skirt, Dagon, Motbot, Passy965, and Mighty Couscous as well. For that support, the executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making everything possible. Thank you to Ace of Hearts, Poke Rocks, or Pokey Rocks, Nightasm, Corrupt Racer, Bethaka Chutney, A to the R, Doc Sergeant, Cass, Slinger, Riku Manikin, Half Decent, Fred, Mike Fume, Kambabwe Crawl, Mickey J187, K, thank you, K, Joseph Keen, Tim Stander, Valerie Kinder, Jamieson, Red15, and PK Manta as well. Thank you. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for allowing me to mispronounce your names, and thank you for joining me tomorrow for more Wes.